Hello, my name is Marty Windle. I'm the SBL lecturer here at Kaplan. And today we're going to focus on one important aspect of the SBL examination. Now in SBL, it's very important when you're in the exam that you effectively read the requirements of the exam very carefully. And in the exam, there are five things that you need to know when you're reading the SBL exam. They are as follows. It is format and audience. It is phrase and verb. It is requirements, it is professional marks, and it is marks and time. They're the five things you need to know in the examination. So let's look at the, the first one. When you read the exam question, the first thing you're looking for, what is the format of the, you're required to write your answer in? What is the format they're looking for? Very important for your exam because if you get the format wrong, if the format goes wrong, you'll lose one professional mark in the exam. Now in terms of format, it might be a report, it might be uh, a letter, they might ask you uh, to write a letter in the exam, it might be a presentation. So um, when you're in the exam, the first thing you look for is what is the specific format you're asked to use in the examination. Look for that format, you must get that right format to avoid losing one professional mark. Second thing you're going to consider is who are the audience? Who are you writing to? Who are you communicating to? So is it the board? Is it the board you're communicating to? Is it the shareholders uh, that you are communicating to? Who are you writing to? This is important because you need to write in the correct tone. The tone needs to be appropriate for who you are writing to. Write in the correct tone. Next thing is to look at the key phrase. What are they asking for? Is it assess? Are they asking you to assess something? Are they asking for weaknesses? Are they asking for problems? Are they asking you to um, criticize something? So what is the tone that you're writing in the exam? What is the key verb that they're looking for? This will guide your answer. Every question has got a key phrase or key verb, and you must answer the question based on those key verbs. Next thing is requirements. Look at the requirements. What we're looking for here is what is the number of requirements? How many requirements have we got uh, in the exam? Very important because in the exam, it's very common for students. They often lose mark because there's two requirements in the exam and they only do one requirement. It's very important you focus how many things the examiner is asking for. Very common, especially where the question says and. Next thing is for SBL in particular, 20% of your exam is for professional marks. 20% of your exam is for professional marks. So. The most important thing when you read the question, always highlight what are the professional marks for. Is it skepticism? Is it communication? Is it evaluation? Each one's got a different meaning and a different emphasis. If you emphasize these points, you're going to get more professional marks in the exam. So learn what the five types of professional marks are for and try to highlight which one you're going to use on which question. It's always stated in every question. Marks and time, how long to spend. One common problem in SBL is people running out of time. So what you're gonna do is think about how much time to spend on each question. My guideline um, is gonna be uh, 1.8 minutes per mark. My guideline is 1.8 minutes per mark. So if it's a 10 mark question in the exam, you're roughly gonna think about 18 minutes very important to plan it that way so you don't run out of time in the exam. So there are the five elements. Let's review them again. What is the format and who are you writing to? Who's your audience? What is the key uh, verb or key phrase in the exam? How many requirements? Number of requirements. Is it one? Is it two? Sometimes it's three requirements. You must meet all three requirements very carefully. What are the professional marks for? There's five possibilities. Identify clearly what the professional marks are for because you must emphasize that in your answer. It's 20% of your marks is professional marks. And identify how many minutes you're gonna have in the exam. 
So let's look at an example. This is a, a past paper question, the wording of a past paper question. So first thing, uh, format. What is the format of the exam? Here we've got this magic word consultancy report. So you must write in the appropriate format to, from, subject, title in the examination. Who's it for? Who's your audience? You're writing for the directors of the company. Therefore, when you write for the directors, you must have a clear tone, writing in an appropriate tone for the directors in the organization. So that covers the first requirement, format and audience. Then, what is the key phrase in the question? Here, explain the weaknesses. Explain the weaknesses in what? What are you explaining? The key phrase, corporate governance structure of the company. So you're looking very clearly what is the phrase. But be careful. How many requirements are we looking for um, on this question? How many requirements are we looking for? Well, here, where a lot of students make a mistake, they get the first requirement, they identify that first requirement, but they forget the second requirement because second requirement is there but easily missed in the exam. Second requirement is recommend how they should be addressed. Recommend how they should be addressed. Second requirement, everybody forgets it. If you forget it, you're losing easy marks in the examination. Professional skills marks here. Professional skills marks, what they're going to be for is for skepticism argue against the opposite point. That's what they're looking for, for skepticism marks. 12 marks in the exam, 12 marks. So we've got 12 marks um, multiplied by um, 1.8. So you're looking for around, not 1.8, but you're looking for around 21 minutes uh, in this type of question. So be careful on your timing. Write for 21 minutes on this question.